Hi everybody. So I want to talk to you in this part two video about radon and how I installed my own radon removal system that works fabulous. And this is the outside and it looks pretty complicated, doesn't it? <laughs> it's just a dryer vent and you can hear the air coming out and there is radon coming out from there. Uh, the other thing I found kind of interesting was I've got a juniper bush here and there's just a little bit of brown on some of it but it hasn't killed it yet which I found was kind of interesting and what I also thought would be of interest uh, to you is that the neighbor on the one side of me also had radon in his house but the neighbor on the other side of me did not so I thought that was pretty interesting so I'm gonna go ahead and head back in but uh, so the way this kind of all started was I just happened to know somebody that had a radon gas detector with with digital readout so I did a test in my house with it and I ended up having uh, I had 30 parts per million in the basement and I had 10 parts per million upstairs so I knew I had to put a system in and um, this is what this is what the system looks like it's very simple you just got a lid right at your sump pump crock, sump pump crock. and then you've got a that's your discharge discharge pipe with your motor that pulls the air out and you've just got your additional piping run and there you can see where I've got my 90 degree bend where it goes outside to the dryer vent that you just saw. Uh, I put this I put this system in five years ago and try to get this to focus. I put this system in five years ago. It cost me $130. I was able to get everything at the hardware store except for the lid, the pipe boots, and the motor, which you'll be able to find online. This runs 24 and 7. It's it's very quiet. The motor runs on 110 volts and draws a one and a half amps. So it's like running a 150 watt light bulb. And it's it's right under my kids' bedroom, and they said it doesn't bother them at all when they're sleeping. So the noise is not an issue. Now, let me turn the light on here so you can see just a little better. So here is I'm going to go through the components that I put in to make this all happen. So obviously we've got our sump pump crock and you can see the pipe inside the sump pump crock and that of course is where any water in your foundation uh, is funneled to and then gets pumped out. If you have a sump pump in your house you know how that works. Well the beauty of this system is I was able to actually use the existing uh, sump pump and the the drainage the, the, the drainage pipe uh, to withdraw the radon gas out from under my foundation and if you've got a sump pump crock you'll be able to do the same thing too and it'll make it a lot e lot easier to put in it'll be actually very simple so what you have is um, you've got where it first begins is your lid. This lid is made out of a material called Lexan. It's very strong. <clears throat> you can stand on that. It will not break. Do not put in a piece of plexiglass. If you do and somebody stands on it, they may fall through it and break their leg or cut their leg very bad so don't do that use Lexan this piece of Lexan uh, is one of the things that I had to get online and I just got it it came as a square and I just cut out a circle lid this is 3 16 of an inch thick and again it's very strong and what I did was I took weather stripping this is three quarter inch, three quarter inch, three quarter inch wide weather stripping, 
It's a quarter inch thick and it's the sticky it, it it's sticky on one side. So the sticky side I attach to the bottom of the Lexan material all the way around and you'll if you if you look into doing this you're going to see a lot of people uh, they're caulking this down to the floor which is going to make an absolute mess and then if you have to you know replace your sump pump or you want to clean your sump pump crock then you're going to have to tear that up and then recaulk it down I just thought it was kind of a mess so I didn't I didn't deal with that and I thought the weather stripping would be a lot a lot simpler the other thing I did was you can see I've got these these cross remember these two by twos that's just so that in the event that uh, you know the kids were down here playing um, or the dogs if they were messing around this in this area there's no way that the the lid can move it's it's gonna stay stationary in that position so that's why that's in there um, so the other parts that I had to get online were these these rubber boots you're gonna to need to get a rubber boot for your sump pump discharge pipe you're also gonna to need to get a rubber boot right here which is for your sump pump uh, electrical cord and then you're gonna need your boot for your actual discharge pipe and this pipe is just made out of a simple schedule 40 PVC is what I used so if you can cut and glue PVC that's half of the job right there and then moving up here this is this is our vacuum gauge okay this just monitors the vacuum that's being drawn on the system and I just fastened it in here and here with a screw and then you just drill a hole in the top here I think it's maybe a 1 8 inch hole 1 8 or 3 16 inch hole and then this tube it just pushes right into that hole didn't have to glue it so that was that was all that involved and then let me turn this light off and then of course you've got your motor it's a 110 volt motor as I said it draws uh, one and a half amps or it's comparable to a 150 watt light bulb and you've got your rubber boots on the top and bottom to tie the pipe all together and then you can see I just capped off the one end and then I put metal clamps around the, the, the four inch PVC pipe to hold it up and it just goes like I said down a little ways again and just made a made a 90 degree bend there and and out it goes to the dryer vent that you just saw so so that's the system <coughs> and I hope this helps you uh, I'm very happy with the system and if you've got any questions please feel free to ask and God bless you and I I hope you have a great day bye bye